Hello, welcome to News Update. Governor of Lagos State, Papajide Somolu, at the Executive Chamber Lagos House in the Ikeja area on Monday, signed a bill regulating the real estate transactions in the state. Vice President Yemi Osibajo has debunked news of his plan to declare his presidential ambition ahead of the 2023 elections after the All Progressives Congress National Convention. Reports had emerged online on Monday that Osibajo would announce his intention to run for 2023 presidency soon. Justice Taiwo Taiwo of the Federal High Court Abuja on Monday fixed February 28 for hearing of a fundamental rights enforcement suit filed by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu. Security forces rescued seven kidnapped victims from bandits that invaded Ugwangarama located in the Maraban Rido General Area of Chikon Local Government, Kaduna State. This was confirmed in a statement by Commissioner Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruwan. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control in a Situation report said the outbreak of Lassa fever killed 40 people in January. The report explained that the 40 deaths represented a case of fatality rate of 19.0%, lower than the case of fatality rate for the same period in 2021, which was 22.2%. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abu Bakr Malami, said the United States government and the Nigerian government are discussing the possible extradition of the suspended head of the intelligence response team, Abba Kiari, for his alleged role in a $1 million scam allegedly committed by the international internet fraudster Ramon Abbas, aka Hushpapi, and five others. The Delta state government on Monday commenced the payment of compensation to victims of police brutality as well as extrajudicial killings in the state. This was contained in a statement signed by Niger Delta activist Comrade Israel Joe. And that's the news update. You can get more from TSTV Network using the details currently showing on your screen.